All right, here we are. This is the this is going to be the last graded assignment of the school year for you guys. Uh, we're going to end the year with a uh, small little version of a civil rights project. Uh, important date to know that is going to be due on Friday, May fifteenth, by eleven fifty nine p.m. Uh, so basically, what this project project is going to entail um, is We've spent last week or this week kind of going over the uh, introduction of the civil rights movement. Um, people like Martin Luther King Jr., um, they're synonymous with the civil rights movement. However, there were a lot of events uh, and people and locations that were part of the civil rights movement that a lot of people don't know about. So a lot of their sacrifices are really what helped propel the civil rights movement to where it went um, in getting equal rights passed and things of that nature. And the goal of this assignment is to help you in gaining a better understanding of the breadth and the depth of the civil rights movement, not just the kind of key figure headliners like a Martin Luther King Jr. Um, so basically what you're going to end up doing here, um, you have it, you're going to have a task. All right. Uh, there's going to be four different options in completing this assignment. You can pick the one that you want to do. Uh, but you will have to do one of them. It doesn't matter which one, um, but regardless of which one you do, uh, I am expecting professionalism and creativity, things of that nature, um, and each of them are going to require some research on your end. Some highlights that are required to be in your presentation. So no matter which of the four choices you decide to do, you will have to include the following. You will have to produce an introduction of the civil rights movement where you are basically explaining what the civil rights movement was all about, how it got its origins and things of that nature. You are teaching me the origins of the civil rights. Um, you will include a summary of the topic slash event or person um, that you selected for your particular project. Uh, and then you must, and this is a big one, you must, relate it and connect it to the civil rights movement and its advancement. For example, simple question, how did it advance the movement forward toward change? How did the person, the event, uh, whatever it is you're looking at, how did it impact the civil rights and how did it move that movement forward to uh, eliminating uh, segregation and racism and things of that nature? Um, Important note here, uh, plagiarism that is considered cheating and it will result in a zero. You need to do your own work on this, guys. Do not copy and paste from the internet. Uh, that's, believe it or not, it's pretty easy to catch, so don't do it. Just put the stuff in your own words, guys. Uh, you're better off doing that than copy and pasting and risk getting a zero on this because I will not go back and change a zero if you're caught plagiarizing. All right. Uh, so quickly, uh, I'm going to skip this page here because I'm going to talk about them uh, in detail on the next few pages. So these are going to be your four options. These are just kind of the <clears throat> quick hits on them. And I want to go through them in more detail on the following pages. So I'm going to skip those for now. All right. So your first option, option one, and this is going to be kind of option one or two. Um, you can basically do a presentation. Option one deals with you making a Google Slides presentation. Uh, or instead of doing Google Slides, you can do a Prezi presentation if you're familiar with that. I know a lot of you are. So if you'd rather do something like that, you can do that as well. Option two is going to be doing a timeline um, of the civil rights movement. The reason I put these options one and two in the same category, because a lot of the topics are the same. So instead of repeating myself a second time, I'll just do it all at once. Um, so your task, you will have to research for places, events, um, or locations, or people. I should have had people in there as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's a typo on my part. Um, you'll have to do people, events, or locations uh, that were significant to the civil rights movement um, going forward. You can use the following list. Um, I included the state in which they, these things occurred, 
and the cities in which they occurred and then kind of what happened there. So for example, um, Anniston, Alabama, that's where the free freedom rides took place. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, letter from Birmingham jail. Uh, also in Birmingham, there was a, a church bombing at, on 16th Street Baptist Church uh, in Montgomery, Alabama. That's where the famous bus boycott uh, took place. Uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, you got Central High School, uh, otherwise known as the Little Rock Nine. Uh, Topeka, Kansas was uh, Monroe Elementary. That's the Brown versus Board of Education uh, in Mississippi. You got a few different places there. There in Oxford, you had James Meredith, uh, who enrolled at the University of Mississippi, um, or Old Miss, as it's commonly referred to. Um, Jackson, Mississippi, that's Medgar Evers House. Um, and then in Philadelphia, Mississippi, do not mistake this for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is Philadelphia, Mississippi. Um, there was the disappearance of three individuals that were going down to help sign people up for uh, Voting that disappeared. You can research that. Uh, Oklahoma, or I'm sorry, in Nebraska, you got the Malcolm X home, North Carolina, Greensboro, you got the five and dime, that was the sit ins. And then in Washington, D.C., obviously you have the Lincoln Memorial and the site of the I Have a Dream speech. This one will be more difficult to do, believe it or not. Even though it was on our stuff last week, um, this one does tend to be a little bit more difficult for people. Uh, there's also a list of other things right down here that you can also do. Uh, individual names, Plessy versus Ferguson, Tommy Smith, Tuskegee Airmen, uh, Civil Rights Act of 1964, you know, Black Panthers, you can kind of go through that list and decide what you want to do. All right. Um, after researching the topics of your choice, uh, you will produce a slideshow or Prezi uh, with the people interested in learn for people interested in learning about the civil rights movement. All right. You must include an introduction. This can be on like slide one of your Google slides or the first spot on your Prezi presentation. Um, same thing if you're doing a timeline, uh, you got to do the introduction and then you have to, on each of your events, again, describe, the importance and the significance of the topics to the civil rights movement. All right. And actually, while I'm here, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to change this to people. People events and locations. All right. Um, option three, <clears throat> a song for social change. If you kind of like that, um, Assignment when we did it with the Vietnam War, you can do something similar for the civil rights. So here there's a few different steps that you have to go through. Um, and you can just do this on a Google Docs um, and turn it in. That's fine. Or if you wanted to do it on a Google Slides, you could do that too. Um, but first thing you're gonna do, there's a couple of songs listed here: The Lonesome Death, uh, and Only a Pawn in the Game. Uh, the first link. Uh, is for the song. Those will actually take you to YouTube. That's a video where you can actually listen to the song. Um, and then these are two essays that talk about the song and uh, their connection with civil rights and whatnot. Uh, so you'll pick just one of, one of those two that you don't have to do both, just one of them, and do that. Then down here, uh, you'll listen to the song Glory uh, from the soundtrack Salem. This was a movie that came out recently um, that talks about the Salem March uh, so here you got the song, you have an essay regarding the song and its contribution to the civil rights movement. Then you have uh, James Cameron's Golden Globes acceptance speech for um, the award that he got for that movie uh, with this song. So check those things out. And then those these two things are going to help prep you to do your actual assignment, which is right here where you will compose a song, a rap, or a poem um, where you talk about the significant events of the civil rights movement. Um, you need to record yourself uh, with the video if you do this, if you do the, the rap or the song, um, and you can just do that on YouTube and then copy and paste the link into your Google Docs and I'll just click on it, look, um, and view it from there. And again, 
if you make the, the video private and send me the link, no one else will see it except for me. Um, you must incorporate any political, social, or economic uh, reason for or effect of each event. Um, it should be incorporated as many influential people as possible, uh, your song. Um, you may substitute the original lyric words uh, with an existing composition. So, you know, you can use the background music for some other song or whatever. Uh, again, here I've got some suggested uh, topics. Um, again, you can always refer back to this list right here for options one and two to get some other ideas of things that you might want to do. All right. And then the last option is the African American Athletic Hall of Fame. Um, this can be done with Google Docs, Slides, Prezi, doesn't really matter um, what platform you use to do this. So uh, basically, here's what this is going to be. This is going to be, uh, this is going to require you to do research on African American athletes or other individuals who helped break the color barrier in sports. Um, these are people that either fought for racial equality or stood as a symbol for it. Please, this is not a list of the best athletes or your favorites. In order to make this Hall of Fame, each inductee must have a track record of standing up for racial equality. Your task is to create a Hall of Fame plaque for each inductee with a list of their contributions and the introduction, introduction speech that they would have given if they were going to give a speech for their inauguration into the Athletic Hall of Fame. Uh, the new Hall of Fame is considering four athletes. That should not, that should be four. I apologize. Four athletes um, or individuals to nominate for this first year's class. For each athlete, think about the five W's. Who, what sport did they play, where their stories occurred, when, and most importantly, why are they significant to their sport, breaking the color barrier or to the civil rights movement. Okay. Again, this is not, I, I am not just looking for a list of statistics, you know, home runs hit, uh, yards rushed for, uh, points scored in a game or career or whatever. Um, I am more focused on what their contributions were to the civil rights movement. Again, like the other projects, here's a list of names. Um, that you can go through uh, some of the more notable ones, Muhammad Ali, uh, Arthur Ashe, uh, Buck O'Neill. So, and then obviously you can pick whatever, Jim Brown, famous Cleveland Brown. So you can pick out of that list which four athletes you want to do. In addition to creating the Hall of Fame plaque, you must also write their induction speech. Um, I mentioned that up here. Um, that needs to be at least a half a page. Now, a couple of helpful resources if you want to do this one. There is a book called 100 Pioneers, African Americans Who Broke the Color Barriers um, in Sports. Um, obviously, if we were in class, I have a copy of this in my room, which I can't even get to right now. Um, but if you can find a copy of this book online, or at least parts of it, uh, that might be helpful. Um, and then I got a couple of links here that will also be helpful. Um, this one here is an article that was written on ESPN. Um, you can read through that. Uh, that talks about uh, college athletes who broke the color barrier. And then this is a video here uh, from the Football Hall of Fame that is a very brief introduction to uh, what they call the trailblazers. These were African-Americans who – played professional football, who kind of broke that barrier. Uh, it talks about some of the first uh, African-American quarterbacks, uh, coaches, uh, things of that nature. So you can use that video that at least give you some different names and ideas of what you could do um, for that. So it's, a, it's an interesting video um, that you can get some information of. And you can use some of these people in here, even though I don't have them up here on this list. All right. So this is going to be the Civil Rights Project. Um, that is, again, uh, I emphasize to you again that this is going to be due on Friday, May 15th by 11.59 p.m. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go through the different options 
uh, of the project and decide which option you want to go with, whether it's the Google Slides or Prezi, the timeline, the song choice, or the Athletic Hall of Fame. Make your decision, base it on that, and then kind of go forward with choosing which events or people uh, that you're going to uh, do the research on and start putting things together. I am planning right now to on Tuesday afternoon to have Zoom meetings. I will have four different Zoom meetings based on the option you choose. So if you do option one, that'll be a time for a chance, uh, a Zoom meeting where you can come on. And if you have questions or anything like that about that specific option of the project, you can ask those and whatnot. And I'll do one for each of the four options so that we can kind of clarify anything like that on Tuesday and that'll still give you three days to get the project finished up. And I will post those uh, meeting times probably on Monday and then I will post the invitations on Tuesday uh, on the Google Classroom for that. So if you have any other questions or concerns or anything like that, do not hesitate as always to email me, uh, tim.anderson at perrylocal.org. You guys should all have my email uh, so you can email me with any questions or anything like that. If you have individual questions um, that really can't be answered through email or you want some explanation on, um, we can always set up a Zoom meeting, a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, where we can kind of go through this stuff and talk about it um, to help you out with this too. Uh, now, this is going to be a bigger project. Um, on average, per week, we've been having somewhere between 30 and 40 points uh, in scores and this project will be the same. So this basically is going to encompass your couple of assignments that we take during the week that'll range from 15 to 20 points plus your quiz, which usually range between 20 and 25 points. So this whole project, I don't, I'll send out a rubric or let you know exactly next week um, how many points it'll be, but figure it's going to be somewhere in the 30 between 30 and 40 points for this product. So it is a bigger project. Um, know where your grades are at and what you need to do on this project to see what your grade's gonna be at the end of the year. All right, hopefully this was somewhat helpful in explaining it. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.